Tell me, how do you feel? How should I feel? Look, Andy, if I must help you, you have to open up. You, you didn't, you can't just tell me that you left your house and came here. And uh, you will not talk to me, please. Open up. I Speak am to not me. mad. Of course not. Nobody said you are mad. But uh, following the things that happen, there must be a foundation. You have no right to judge me. No, make assumption. You are right. And that's what I've been trying to avoid. But you have to speak to me. That's why I ask you to speak to me. Maybe you should ask the question. Then I might be able to answer. Okay, now, let's get back to the roots. What was it like growing up? Is all this necessary? Yes. All this is going back and forth. Is it necessary? Yes, to get to the root of it. Yes. So, tell me what was it like growing up? Growing up for me wasn't fun. With a hot-tempered and a violent father who is always drunk and a mother who did everything in her powers to keep the family together. It was traumatizing. My dad was a frustrated man who was poor with big dreams he could not achieve. He takes out his frustration on my mom and more often than not on me. He wind up drunk and by the roadside. Growing up in such a violent environment, it was traumatic and my father was lazy so seeing all of this I I decided I was going to make the difference and I was going to break the chain of poverty and I did everything to make it okay when you say everything within your powers what do you mean and whatever it takes. So, when I was done with school, I was employed as a banker. And working in such environment, you see money every day. You wouldn't want to be poor. So not long, I was introduced to some kind of forgery. What kind of forgery, if I may ask? It was basically <laughs> were forging people's signatures to move their money from their bank account and it was mostly cash. <laughs> were you ever caught? Yes. But before then I made lots of money. Mm -hmm. I lived a good life. And that was when I met John. She was beautiful. I have not seen anyone that beautiful before. She is a typical example of a lady in red. <laughs> and I fell for her. I really did. She was on a date. But it seemed the date never happened because the person she was waiting for never showed up. <laughs> I can remember that day she was just there. Frustrated and then I just swung into action and saved the day. Then? Then without wasting time, uh, we became friends. We got fond of each other and we got married. So how did you feel when you got married? I felt lucky. I felt really special. I actually... I felt fulfilled. Did she love you? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, without a doubt, yes. She loved me with every fiber of her being. Uh, 
and she never seized any opportunity. She has to treat me like a king. She showed me what being in love is beyond words. So what went wrong? What changed? I don't know. All of a sudden, everything changed. I literally felt, I don't know, some kind of inexplainable seizing of my life. Everything changed. Everything became different. I, I felt different and became totally different. It, it was something beyond my control. Why? It all started after I was arrested and released from prison. My mentality was completely messed up. Welcome home, my love. I know how you feel, okay? But you have to let go. See everything like a joke. Put everything behind you. See it like a nightmare. Wake up and put everything behind. Where is it? I'll get a job and I'll fix this. I know you will, but for now, you need to rest and rearrange your thoughts. I've lost time, a lot of time. You've been away for over 15 months. Can we not talk about this, please? 15 months is it's not 15 days or weeks. Do you have any idea what I went through in there? Or the state of my mental health right now? My mind is literally messed up. Babe, I may not know. But one thing I do know is that you're too strong to be weak now. I am here. I will support you and together we will bounce back stronger. Do you trust me? Do you? Wakey, wakey! <laughs> Wake up. Mm -hmm. Good morning, baby. Breakfast is ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm not hungry. Oh, my love. We both know you are hungry, okay? You should stop beating yourself on this account. What are you saying? That I'm now a child who doesn't know when he is hungry or not? Please stop babysitting me and leave me alone. My baby. My handsome husband. <laughs> Baby, see, hmm? I'm not trying to bother you, okay? I just want you to eat so that you can at least have the strength to go look for another job. Eh? That I'm a lazy person who cannot get himself a job. What, what exactly are you saying? That I lie down all day in bed and waiting for food? That's what you're saying. No, because I, I, I think you're trying to mock me. That's what you're trying to do. Why are you doing this? Why are you finding fault in everything I say or do? I am your wife, okay? I want you to be happy. Your happiness matters most to me, okay? I want you to be happy. That is why I am doing everything possible to make sure you don't fall into depression, okay? I want you to be happy for me, please. You want me to be happy? Yes, baby, I want you to be happy. I promise to do anything within my power to make you happy. Okay. How about um, 
you return back to me the years I lost and all my wealth that was taken away, how about return all that to me? Honey, mm -hmm. you know that's not possible. Then leave me alone! Okay, leave me alone! Do you know, do you, do you have any idea what I've, what I've been going through? Do you know what, what I feel? inside of me every day seeing my friends the people that i practically raise up that i can no longer fit in i wear rags now in the name of clothes i cannot even afford the basic things you pay stop it don't ever ask me don't 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 try it don't try making me happy in any way don't don't, don't even try it do you know what it feels like i feel like i'm better off in jail than than here get out I'm really, really happy to see you, you know. Yes, and I have to say this. You have a very good woman for a wife. I mean, <laughs> she's been through hell while you're away. A lot of women in her shoes would have moved on, but she stayed. Yeah, I guess. Now that you're back, I'm sure you have a lot on your mind. Yeah, um, I intend to get a job. I mean, man, I... I have to fix all of these things. I, <laughs> I can't stay down forever. Great. Okay, so I, I can recommend a few companies. I'm sure they'll be ready to hire oh, no, 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 no. You have done enough as it is already. You don't need to bother yourself. I, I'll get a job myself. Okay. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm really happy to have you back. And this time around, you need to stay out of crime. Okay? It pays you on a short time, but on a long run, you pay. Okay? Sure. <laughs> of course, I, I have learned by experience that crime doesn't really pay. Great. Yeah. <laughs> so, where are you going for your interview today? Hmm? No place in particular. I'm just um, going to look around some company. Companies out there. Okay. Um. Babe, I'll take this. Not a big I don't need your money. Come on, babe. You need this money. You and I know you need this money, okay? We've emptied your account to settle the bank. You need this money. What is the matter with you? Eh? Are you now saying that I'm not money enough to take care of you and I? No. What exactly are you saying? I can't get a job? You and I know I can't say anything like that. I can't say anything to hurt you. I just don't want you going out trekking. Please. There you go again. I'm not a case of charity yet. I'm a man and I can take care of things. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that kind of man that wants his bill to be paid by a woman. Please don't insult me. So tell me, talking about Andy and his um, recent attitude, what are you going to do? I don't know, my friend. I expected more from him. But he's making it look as if it's my fault he's been jailed. Trust me, he isn't helping matters at all. Listen, Joanne. You see, and he disgraced you the moment he stole from the customer in the bank where he worked. And you did not condemn him. Instead of him to try to apologize and, you know, try to understand the fact that you were there for him, he's there pushing you around. Why? I guess he feels bad and frustrated about the wasted months. Really? Yeah, um, which is why I am trying my possible best to make sure he feels less guilty and pick up in his life. Listen, Andy brought this upon himself. So let him deal with it. Let him deal with it and stop pushing you around. He's supposed to appreciate you not giving you pains and tears. After all, the past months wasn't easy for you either. So let him stop pushing you around. So 
So why the attitude? Did she do anything wrong? It wasn't her. It was me. Fifteen months gone. All my money gone. All the hard work. Everything. Washed down the drain just like that. But that wasn't her fault. So why take it out on her? I don't know. I, I, I can't even explain it. Okay, go on. She started taking care of the bills and that got to me. I mean, me, Andy, a woman paying my bills. I couldn't comprehend it. I was literally watching my childhood nightmare play itself back in my life. And I wasn't... That deepens my frustration and I took it out on her and started hitting her. Why are you coming from at this time of the night? Get out of my way. Get out of my way. This is my house. And you are in no position to ask me if I am to return, when I am to return. Don't try it next time. You've never laid your hands on me before. And if you do not mind your business, I will hit you and hit you some more till you leave this house in your body back. That one time? started with just one slap and it became a habit and I couldn't control it anymore. Joan, where was she working at? At that time she was working with a construction company. She was their engineer. Okay, I see. So, she paid the bills? Yes. For some reason I got tired. Since no one wants to employ me, and I couldn't get a job, I might as well just um, sit down and enjoy my life. So I became comfortable with her paying the bills, and she was really doing good. Whatever I wanted was uh, provided. So instead of um, my not being able to find a job to be my weakness, it became my strength. My joblessness became my strength. And whatever I wanted was provided. You called. Where's my food? Actually, there is no food. I don't have money to buy anything. Meaning? What do you mean there's no food? I'm sorry. There's no food. There's no money. I don't what am I supposed to need? Oh, what? When will all this end? I try my best, but it seems my best isn't good enough. I am your wife, Andy. Yet you look for every opportunity to vent your frustration on me. Is it then my fault that I am frustrated? Do, do you know how it feels? Watching you carry all the burden, do you know how it feels? That you are the one paying all the bills in this house. Complaining. Exactly the problem. You're not complaining because you enjoy the position. You're not complaining because you enjoy being in charge. I don't understand. What are you talking about? Oh well, since you enjoy being in charge, I am inviting my friends over this evening for dinner. They need to have food, good food to eat, and they should be entertained. I, I, I don't get it. I will not repeat myself. If by the time I return and there's no food in this house, you'll get it from me. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Don't worry, I'll pay you back. Mm. That was the same thing you said the last time. And up to now, I'm not telling you that. Ego. What is it? I am not complaining. I'm just trying to call back the attention of my friend to some issues she do not need to ignore, okay? Just look at yourself. You're losing it. How long are you going to continue this? Listen, if you're not tired, I am on your behalf. Ego, don't even start, please. What am I starting? Don't start. Just look at you, my friend. You hardly dress these days. You hardly look responsible and presentable because all you care about is how to make sure that you're Andy, wear the best clothes, eat the best food, live in the best house and drive the best car. And I ask you, my friend, who would do the same for you? Huh? Babe, you and I know Andy doesn't have a paying job yet. And besides, he doesn't want his friends to know that he is less of the man he was. That's why I'm doing this. I don't want him going into depression in the process. Really? Like seriously? And you do not see yourself slipping into that same depression you are trying to avoid, really? Huh? He doesn't want his friends to look at him the less man. And you think he's not a pride? Huh? Come on, girl. Come on. Listen, if they don't know he has a problem, how would they help him? He has to tell someone. Let him be if that's what he wants. Free him. At your own expense, right? I'm fine. Joanne, you are not fine. I said I am fine. If you're fine, what's it gonna make you come borrow me money? Uh -huh. Then give me my money since you're fine. So now, now. You no, 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 you just no. said you're fine for crying out loud. I am telling you. No, you don't need to insult. You're not insulting me. Well. I'm looking forward to tonight's dinner. I hope it will be classy. If there is anything Joanne is good at, it's handling the kitchen. She is a pro at that. Now that is where you get it all wrong. Yes. Joanne is a gem of a lady. Yes. If anything, <laughs> I think you're not giving that lady the respect she deserves. Uh, come on, my friend. See, Joanne is a woman. Huh? And uh, we all know that she is with him for the money. Yes. Let me tell you guys something. You see, every woman, especially the good ones, they deserve to be adorned with the good things of life. Yeah. If only you would know what women go through every day. Oh, come on. You will be thankful that you're a man. Trust me. Well, I hear you, my friend. Ah, I am fixed for tonight's dinner. So let's not discuss about the greedy women in our lives. You know you have a point there. Most of these women are with us because of the money. money. And when the money goes, their love fades away. Now, talking about money and greed. It looks like uh, someone has been taking good care of himself. Oh. Well, I can't yes. complain. And it's not like you're even telling us what's happening. I mean, you need to be giving us updates. Yeah. Eh? As your friends. If you've got a job, tell us. Even if, no matter the kind of job, oh, at least we should be able to celebrate yeah. it with you. What is going on yeah. here? Hold yeah. your horses, yeah. brethren. Okay, we're going to do all the celebration, but for now, I am doing something online. I'm designing some softwares for Soft. some reputable companies. And once I am done, you know how this thing goes. Once you can get the big connect, the pay is really, really good. How is it going? Great. Okay. So I want you to prepare variety of dishes. Okay. I was with my friends earlier and um, Vince has expectation. I don't want you to disappoint him. I don't want you to disappoint me. Okay. There is little I can do with what I have. I will not repeat myself. All right. Prepare a nice one. Oh, 
Looking at your face, I know all is not going well. Tell me, what's the problem? <sighs> Listen, girlfriend, this is a cool evening and we are all here to, you know, eat and enjoy ourselves. So, take this awful face of yours and... Okay, is there something I can help you out with? Babe, I'm in a deep mess. The money I borrowed from you, it's not enough. For the kind of meal Andy wants me to prepare. I don't understand you. What do you mean the money I borrowed from you is not enough for the kind of dishes Andy wants you to prepare? For crying out loud, if he wants you to prepare a lot of dishes, he should be able to give you a lot of money to prepare them too. Where do you want him to get that kind of money from? That is the point. Exactly the point. Listen, this is dinner with friends and not this. And he does not understand that part. Then make him to understand. He doesn't all the time. So he should stop demanding for what he cannot afford. He should have some shame. He is my husband. Let him act like one. I mean, look at how dressed he is. But you, you hardly wore makeup on this your face. And you have been wearing the same clothes I've seen you over and over again. Come on, girlfriend. This is marriage and not slavery. You need to open your eyes, okay? He, he, he wants to live a high-class life. And he also forgot that high-class life costs a lot of money. Come on. Listen, girlfriend. I am not asking you not to support your husband, okay? But when you have to shed blood and sweat just to make that happen for him, it doesn't worth it then. Babe, why do they talk like this now, eh? You know Andy is going through a lot. He's going through pains. I expect you to understand his pain. Girlfriend, I need to understand that before, but right now, I think he's taking advantage of you. Yes, he is taking advantage of you. It is very comfortable for him not working, and he's mounting on due pressure on you. For what? Why? Uh, you are here to eat, right? Good. So now come, let's serve dinner. Hmm. That's nice. Thank you. Well, this is all you could prepare. You know, to think I was looking forward to having this dinner all day. And this is it. Oh, but, but there is still a lot to eat and drink. This is just, um, just the beginning. <laughs> oh, a lot. Like white rice and cucumber. It's dinner, not a buffet. Well, from all ends said, my friend, I am so disappointed. Vance, what sort of drama is this? Oh, this is the usual you are guest. Why do you always like to blow things out of proportion? Listen, guy, when you go to someone's house for dinner, you have to eat whatever they give you. Do not make others, okay? Vance, I'm sorry. Will you shut up? Are you happy now? You have embarrassed me in front of my friends. You are happy now. You feel good about yourself. Yeah. But she hasn't done anything Will wrong. Will you shut up when men are talking? Do not use such tones when you're speaking to my wife. We're friends. And I'm not the one to differentiate between genders. But I have to say she is right. Can you please tell me what wrong Joanna's has done? I'm sorry, Eve. I, I what is it? Leave, Andy. Andy, leave her alone. What is Andy. what? Andy. She deserves whatever. Yes. You are the reason why this is happening. What is wrong with you? 
Must you add to what is going on? If you have her there, are you, are you mad? What did I tell you? Baby, I'm sorry. Did I tell you not to embarrass me? I'm sorry. No, did I, why did I not tell you? Andy, leave that girl alone, Andy! Andy, you better not touch that girl. Andy, open this door! Andy! Oh, okay, can we talk about this, Andy? Go out there. Tell them to leave. Every one of them, tell them to leave. Are you okay? You, 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 you have to go, okay? This is between Andy and I. Please. Go. Why is this? so annoying these days. I mean, there is a limit to what a woman will take. Look, if it doesn't change, he might end up killing this girl one day. I know what that means. You know, I find it really difficult to believe that he's my friend. If you must take my candid advice, I think she should leave him. Yes. He's not worth all the pain. To leave the marriage. This is marriage and not relationship. So? Marriage is supposed to make you better, not bitter. I know, but it's not easy. Honestly, you need to talk to him. thinking man what's wrong with you we know you hit your woman yes what must you do it in front of us that woman is your wife for crying out like not some rag have some sense sometimes oh well she misbehaved in front of you all so i needed to give it to her I'll confirm see i agree with you mm -hmm. in as much as i don't buy the idea of hitting a woman but Sometimes we have to put them in their place. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Mm. Let me ask you something, Andy. Mm. What if you wake up someday and you realize that your wife is no longer there? Like, she's tired of the entire... Yes, I know the both of you are married. But there's always a limit to what a woman can take. Oh, she dares not. She cannot leave. If she had wanted to leave, she would have left a long time ago. Yes. Even yesterday night. <laughs> what happened last night? Oh well, I was um, um, I was in the mood and I wanted to, and she was you know doing all this yes, I forcefully took it. And we had it. Do I wanted it? Uh -huh. You you did what? I had it with her. You mean you raped her? Raped. It's my wife, is like... What is wrong with you, man? Now. And so freaking what? <sighs> what has gone into you? What kind of a man have you become? Oh, oh, so you guys want to tell me that you don't know that you can be sued for that? 
sued by who? His wife? <laughs> of course! Look at this man. <laughs> see, let me tell you something. You see, sometimes women love it hard. When you handle them and you treat them badly, they stay with you. They're not good. Yes. yes. Well, where are they going? Where would they go to? Where would they go to? <laughs> Uh, Mandy, do you know, ever since you came out from mm. this jail, mm. your sense of reasoning has not gone high. There's a frequency I operate. Hand <laughs> <laughs> me, my man! Yes, my man. <laughs> which, which philosophy did you get that from? Oh, well, what to start with? My dad. My mom never left. How do you mean you got that from your father? Take for instance my mother. Mm. With all the things my dad did to her, she never left. She stayed there. Oh, you thought that your mother stayed because of the way your father treated her or because she was afraid of you? Yes. No, Andy. She stayed because of you. She took it all for you to give your life a stability. She didn't want you to grow up without a father or a mother. Why? Because she's a mother. She's a woman. That is how true women do. Because they want their children to have the best in life. She couldn't have done it for me. She didn't tell me anything. That is how mothers are. Most women stay back in abusive marriages because of their children, because they want their children to have a complete life. They take all the pains and abuses in the marriage because of their children. Listen, do you know the funny thing? They forget that those children, all they see all their lives is violence. Violence. And this violence end up destroying their lives. They grow up having so much pain, so much resentment. The same children they try to protect grow up even worse than their parents. Look at you and your mentality, for instance, and how you have ended up destroying the life of that innocent girl. You mean my mother took all that pain for me? Yes, for you, Andy. For me. How can someone go through such horror for another? How? Why? What about John and the way you treated her? Can I use the restroom? Sure, sure. We can actually continue tomorrow. Oh no, the day is still young. We can continue. You want to continue? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. <sighs> so? So crying out loud, Juan. That was rape. I mean, why are you looking for trouble by staying with this guy? Do you want to end up dead? Is that what you want? 
He wasn't like this. And you know it. He has always been like this. Okay? Money and all that is the cover. Ego. All men have their issues. Yes. No one is perfect. Okay? Like I said, he wasn't like this before. So I know he will change. Mm -hmm. All he needs is a job. And I'm looking out for, for him. Let me even ask you something. Are you aware that your marriage is the reason I am not moving forward with Fred? Yes. I mean, look at how Andy have changed overnight and become a beast. I just pray you open your eyes to see things the way I see them. First, he was complaining that you are trying to be the man of the house. And now he's comfortable, comfortably sitting at home doing nothing. All he does is to eat, wear fine clothes, from fine boy. Eh? He's not even trying to make a move to get a work to, I mean to retain his status as a man of the house. I don't understand. Babe, he tried. Oh yes, he tried. Hmm. But, but, but he just couldn't, okay? See, his reputation has been sold. Oh yes. It takes only the grace of God for him to get a job. Exactly. Let him start a business. Uh -huh. Assassins have businesses and they have customers as well. Really? Uh, really? Yes, really. Well, I have a meeting with a friend. Um, yes, I was asked to come with Andy's CV. I just pray something comes out of it. <laughs> Like, seriously, you are not job hunting for Andy. I mean, why are you stressing yourself as if it's going to appreciate the fact that you're looking for a job for him? I beg, I beg, just go to the kitchen and get me something. I, I, I can only try, okay? I'll try. I'll try. He will change, okay? I am positive about that. I know. So I know he will change. He will. Like I said, go to the kitchen, get me something. I am starving. You're not a stranger, okay? Hold me for something to eat. Am I not your guest? Um, so this is it. Okay. But which woman look for John for her husband? He should be doing this for himself. Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyone can look for a job for anyone. It all depends on who has the connection. Anyway, you're right. But um, as I promised, I'll do something about it. Oh, thank you so much. I'll try. I'll try. Eh? Okay, so this is true. Baby, me the... Ah! 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 Do men behave like this? No, 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 no. This is a toxic relationship. I pray she walk out of this marriage before she dies. Nonsense. Ah! What is wrong with you? So because I don't have a job, you want to start cheating on me? Are you mad? Is something wrong with you? Eh? No. And do you need to calm down? I can explain. What do you want to explain? Eh? That I'm a useless man now and I can no longer provide for you. So you have to sell your body to other men. Is that what you want to explain? No, no. What is wrong with you? Eh? That was bad. You, you could have killed her, you know. I know. Then I felt bad. It's just that I couldn't show it. I was just scared that what Fred said about the possibility of her leaving me would come to pass and I can't imagine my life without her. I can't imagine her leaving me. Why? After you have given her all the reasons in this whole world to leave you, why were you scared of her leaving you? I know I have done a lot of wrong things to her. But I still love her. Yeah, of course. You have a good way of showing that. Are you judging me now? No. I I'm just opening your eyes to some of the details you must have overlooked. What is this rubbish? You want to be on top? Eh? 
Auntie, what has come over you? What, what has come over me? You never used to care who is on top and who is under. What has changed? Everything has changed. You have changed, situation has changed, and I have decided to change with it. What kind of rubbish is this? You can never be on top. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? What, what, what am I talking about? Is that, is that what you're asking me? So because you now pay the bills in this house, the small, small bills in this house, you now think you can be a man in the, a man of this house and also be the man in the bedroom. What is that? Andy, even in sex, you now compete. Eh? 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 What, what did you just say? No, what did you just say? So you and I has grown to a level that we are now equal. So we are now competing. Oh dear. You have... John, you have insulted me. And I will never forget nor forgive you for this insult. But I have not insulted you. Oh, you are expecting me to wait for you to tell me that I'm a fool before you now know that I understand your message. Don't worry. I understand your message. It is loud and clear. You see, sex? <laughs> Except my name is not Andy. You will beg. Let us bet it. You will beg me in this house. Since you want to be on top, just because you are paying small, small bills, you now feel like you are the man of this house. Are, are you leaving? No, I'm, I'm staying. I'm staying. Oh my God. What has come over this man? on dollars. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, really. <laughs> Whoa. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I was always used to changing my wardrobe after every six months. But since I returned, I have never done it even for once. It was becoming a thing of shame for my friends to see me repeat same clothes three times. I wasn't used to that. I was used to, you know, bubbling, living large, and, and enjoying my life to the fullest. Oh, that barely happened since I returned. Yes, but Joan always tries to meet up with all your needs. Oh well, she tried. And um, there's a kind of life I was living that she was trying to provide for me, but she couldn't. So seeing that money was like a breath of fresh air. And you don't think you were pushing it so hard? Do you even know what that money is for? Oh. If she hid it from you, then there must be a reason. No, well, I... That time I felt since she was the man in the relationship, she should be able to handle it. After all, she's always handled it. So finally, I will be having a mini-me. Oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I know this will change everything. I know. Oh God, I'm so be a mother. Oh God, I'm so excited. 
<laughs> Babe. I went shopping and I did a lot and lots of shopping. Shopping? Yes. And I did lots of shopping. I want to shop my friends. By the time we see next, they will know that the real Andy is back. <laughs> Where did you get the money? Because with what I'm seeing here, these things are worth over 700,000 Naira. If you know, you know. And my baby, you know exactly what's up. You see, this is crested with gold and I've been dying and looking for this particular. I had to plead with them just to get one of these. And I got it. <laughs> Put it right back. Where did you get the money? Um, I, I found it in the wardrobe. So I just said, okay, guy, why don't you give yourself a treat? And when next you see your husband, I'm done putting on this. <sighs> hmm? When next you see me, you will be proud to tell anyone who cares to listen that you are blessed with a good man. Are you okay? Then. Oh, Andy! Ah. What have you done? Andy, you are such an ungrateful man! I thought I married a man! I never knew I got married to a beast! I have had it up to here! I am not doing this anymore! What have I done now? Why are you shouting? You are asking me! You are asking me this stupid question! You squandered the 700,000 naira my boss gave me to deposit for him on the bank on Monday morning! Andy, you are such an ingrate! And I hate you! I am doing, not doing this anymore! I have had it up to here, Andy! So it's because of ordinary 748,000 you want to talk to me anyhow, don't try it. Is that what you have to say, Andy? You are stupid for saying that! Oh yes! For two whole years, I have taken care of your stupid expenses! I owe a lot of people, my friends, everybody! Why? Because of love? I am doing this no more, Andy! I am not doing this again! I'm going crazy! I'm going to... Something is wrong Something is wrong with you. Something is wrong You dear! And doctor, is she going to be all right? Is my baby all right? Child and mother, they are fine. But I must confess, it was a very narrow escape. You have to guard this pregnancy jealously, else you will lose it. Thank God, I and my baby, we are fine. I will do anything to make sure nothing goes wrong. You need less stress. I need a lot of rest. Hopefully by tomorrow will be discharged. Doctor, do not worry. I am going to make sure she gets enough of it, okay? Thank you so much, Doctor. So I'll take my leave now. Thank you, Doctor. <sighs> Joanne, do I need to reiterate any of these points to you or you have them to replay from the past discussion? Do I? No. I will do anything to protect my child. Good. And, and, and yes, I lied. So what? I don't have a job. So what? That woman has been paying your bills for over two years. She's been literally feeding you, and yet you raised your hand and beat her. What, what, what kind of a monster are you? Huh? That woman has been nothing but a blessing to you, and yet you treat her like trash. Look. Two years is not two months. This is my house and this is my family. I'll run it however I want. And for a change, let the woman stress and let the man flex. What, what is it? <laughs> I honestly do pray. I hope that she opens her eyes early enough to leave you. <laughs> 
contrary to what you wish. She came from a strong family background that have a Christian value. So she would never leave. She would not want to put her family name to shame by leaving her matrimonial home. No. <laughs> you may be right. Yes, you may be right. But she is first a human being before being a Christian. Don't forget that. So do you mean that she couldn't leave you because she was a Christian? Oh well, Christians does not preach divorce. Instead, there is the option of the women praying for their husbands and hoping that things will change. And? Well, some get lucky and their prayers are answered. And for some, not so lucky. They pray all their lives, hoping that things will change while enduring the pain and horror of abusive marriage. And for some, not so lucky, they die in the process. Do you see anything wrong with that? Everything is wrong with that, but we are more Christian than Christ. We did not brainwash the women. Some religious leaders did. And um, <laughs> we're just uh, here for the benefit. So who do we blame this on? The family, the leaders, the religious leaders or individuals? Oh, well, that is left for you to decide. Can I continue? Uh, well, uh, at least give me your opinion. Oh, well, every woman reserves the right to be happy. And if you demand for happiness, if you want better, you demand for it. And if you can't get it there, you move. You're not a tree. Your happiness is your responsibility. It is a choice. Does it mean that you as an individual do not see the need to treat your fellow human being better? Oh, well, the nature of man is tricky. Life is like a business. We go where we make profit. You know, I don't see anyone who wants to live where they are being celebrated to where they are being tolerated. Go on. And what are you doing? What I should have done a long time ago. <laughs> you are attempting the impossible. You think so? I don't think I know. You think your parents will accept you? You think they will just let you stroll into their house? You think that it is easy for them to watch you drag their name in the mud? Do you know what it means for them, for people to say of you that your marriage ended, you couldn't keep your marriage? Do you want to be shamed by the society? <laughs> Let me worry about that. If you leave this house, do not come back because there will be no space again for you here. I will remember that. She can't do without me. No, she loves me so much. She, she'll come back. <laughs> no, she'll come back. She will. Toxic. That is what I call this relationship. It's fine to take care of a man who doesn't have for the sake of love. But do not lose yourself in it. Do not waste your time with a man who doesn't know your worth. I woke up late, but at least I did wake up. 
if not for anything, for the sake of my child. He or she cannot be brought up in this kind of hostile environment. She's pregnant? John is carrying my baby? God, what have I done? To remorse? Was that for rain? Yes. Believe it or not, I love my wife. Then why the smile? You said, Dr. Charles, that um, my mother stayed because of me. You see, John is a lover and a mother. So you see that child? That child will be the reason she will return back to me. Hmm. She would not want to raise that child alone, not because she can't, but constantly her conscience will keep pricking her that she's treating the innocent child wrongly. The way you are thinking is the reason why the society is the way it is now. Where things are changing and you must understand that. Regardless, I love my wife. You can't love a woman and treat her badly, and then expect her to stay. See, love begets love, you know. I guess it's too late for this sermon. Hmm. So? It's this, um, this, this is not good. It's not. You really should go and look for your own wife. Go. Where? It's been three days now since she left the house without a trace. Oh, did Ego have any idea? Um, Andy, she is your wife. And if I know her very well, she definitely will return. Yes, she's just acting up. You are the reason why there are more broken homes today. Yes, I said what I said. How? No, tell me how. She left her matrimonial home. Okay, she's expecting maybe another man will come and marry her. Uh. Of course not. Huh. This is a woman who's trying to save herself and remain sane from some toxic marriage. Well, if you have any idea where she is, just tell me and stop all this criticism. It doesn't make any sense. Mm. Talking about her. Joe, you are crying. If you had listened to me, this wouldn't have happened. I know I told you about this. Okay, so tell me. What are you going to do now? What's the plan? I'm leaving the country. My boss asked me to supervise our new company abroad. I refused because I knew Andy wouldn't let it. 
But now I need to leave. I need to take care of my mental health. I need to leave. Andy? Abandoning your marriage? What is even wrong with you, girl? What is the matter? Where do you stand? This minute you are against me being with Andy, and the next minute you, 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 you're getting angry because I left him. What's your problem? Hey, girlfriend, calm down. Okay, it doesn't get you shouting. Just calm down. Listen, girlfriend, you should know I am not a preacher of divas, but I just want you to be happy and safe. Listen. You don't have to be confused because right now I don't even know the right thing to do. I can't even think well. Right about now, what matters most to me now is the peace of mind of my child. And if Andy cannot ensure that, I will take care of my baby alone. Men. Men are something else. Andy just changed overnight. <laughs> you know, you were right. I don't think he changed. No, he did not change. It has always been in him. But, you know, his work and all has suppressed it. <laughs> and the loss of job and imprisonment brought them out, I guess. That's my theory. I just hope this whole thing ends well. So you will find the peace and happiness you deserve, my friend. Okay, now, since you have a good plan, you just have to stop crying, okay? At least for the baby. <laughs> stop. I am broken. I know, come here. <laughs> Where are you, John? I'm hungry and broke. How will I survive without you? Please come back. Come back and take care of me. Please. Listen. There is nothing to listen to. You are not living envy, and that is it. Even when I'm in an abusive marriage, a marriage where all I do is cry, yes, that is what you stand for. It is for better, for worse. What do you think people are going to say? That my own daughter cannot stay married or stay with a man? Is that what he wants? So I should be given a back seat in the church? Is that all that matters to you? Does my happiness not matter? You are not the only woman that has been abused. 80% of women today face abuse. Still, they don't run away from the marriages. They face it till death. And that is what marriage is all about. No, mother. Marriage is about companionship. You don't go into a marriage expecting to be constantly hurt or maltreated. Even till death, I will not accept that theory. So, what do you want? To be laughed at. If that is what it will take for me to get my life back, then I don't care. I don't care about what the society or religion will say. That same society will be the one to laugh at me if I don't leave the marriage and anything goes wrong. My life is important to me, mother. I need to stay alive for my child. 
A child raised without the father does not amount to anything. Mother, you raised me all alone ever since dad died, since I was just 10. Did I not amount to anything? <laughs> Mother, I do not care about what the society or religion says because they will not be with me to receive the ill treatment I am and beating. Do you think you can find another husband? You stayed without dad all these years. I can manage too. I am not going back to Andy and that some period. Do you know you can be disowned for this? I don't care, mother. This is the reason most women remain in an abusive marriage because they are scared of being disowned and laughed at. All that matters to me is my life. I will stay alive and take care of my child. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And you just go straight to the point. I am tired of you bothering my line, okay? So what do you want? Please, Joanne. Where is she? Help me talk to her. I miss her. I can't do without her. But this house is just so, so empty without her. Uh, there's no food in the house even. I'm starving as it is right now. Oh, really? Do you know I am confused right now? Are you actually looking for Juan or you're looking for food? Of course I'm looking for Juan. <laughs> because you know that finding Juan means finding food, isn't it? It's the truth. But stop putting words in my mouth. That's not what I said. But you know I like putting things the way I see and perceive them. Listen, Andy, you are not repentant at all. You are not. Why would you say that? Anyways, Juan is gone. What do you mean Juan is gone? Are you joking or something? Juan has left the country. She has left you. She is done. Okay, so you have to accept the things the way they are. That's not true. Joanne only left this house. She didn't leave the country. She equally left your house. She equally left the country. Yes, she has to think about the child in her stomach. Because that child right now is the most important thing to think about, not you. So whatever feeling she has for you, she has to wave it aside. Okay? Listen, Andy, you have a good woman. She threw away all your bad characters and sits down with you. But what did you do? You never valued it. So why are you now crying over it? I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to hurt me, right? But guess what? I'm already hurting. I'm already suffering. That's what I... Can't you see? <laughs> you are frustrated right now. You have not seen it yet. Hey, Oga, let me tell you something. When you see torment, eh? No be me go tell you say now real torment be this. Oh yes, I am not going to be the one to tell you that you're inside torment itself. Okay? You never see anything yet. You're looking for Joan. Come and carry Joan. Nonsense.
Andy. Everything that has happened. You need to seek help. I mean, how, how did they even get to this part of you committing suicide? My life is a mess. There is nothing to live for. Even if you think you have failed, or there is nothing to live for, like you said, you have absolutely no right to take your own life. You don't. Do you have any idea how I feel? Do you have any, any idea what I'm going through? I know. John is just everything to me. She was like a lifeline to me. I know I didn't do right by her. I know I treated her badly. I still love her. She's my everything. I want her back. And now, she, now that she's gone, I feel like a complete failure. And you're here talking about seeing, seeking help. Regardless, Andy, you need to talk to someone. You need to seek help, okay? You've been through a lot. You've gone so far for you to want to start all over again. You need to talk to a psychologist, to someone. I mean, committing suicide is not even an option that I consider to someone I call friend. There is so much to live for. I do not want to see anyone. I do not want anyone coming to tell me how to live my life. Do you still want us to remain friends? Because I can take a walk right now. Meaning? Meaning, if you want to remain friends with me, then you have to be willing to talk to someone, to seek help, talk to some psychologist or something. I need to be sure of your mental health at all times. If you want me to be fine, then bring back my wife. If you want to see your wife, if you want to be reunited with your family again, then you need to seek help. You need to start living right. You need to start being responsible for everything. Then we can have that conversation on how you can meet Joan. Yes. <clears throat> hey man, I didn't hear you coming. <laughs> I'm not a town crier. I must not always announce my arrival. Whatever, man. Okay, so um, I was able to book an appointment for you with a psychologist. He goes by the name Mr. Charles. He's a very good one. He will help you. That is not necessary. Do you still want to see your wife and child? more than anything else in the world. Then you need to keep your slate clean. Oh. So, um, trying to prepare some noodles for you. You want some? Suicide? Why? There should be no need for suicide. What does not kill you makes you stronger. I want my wife and kid back. Then, we must work on your temper. Your ability to get a job. You need to redirect your thinking. See, as long as you are on this therapy, your chances of getting better are high, 100%. But the question is, are you willing to go the extra mile to get a better life. Uh, yes. Let's do this. Good. Will I get my wife and kid back? Well, it's your wife's decision to make. 
but your chances are better if you work on yourself. All right, and let's do this. Good. <laughs> Early today, son. Yes, when a man tends to mend his ways and solve his problems, he will give himself no sleep until he achieves his aim. Happy to hear you set a goal for yourself. Hmm? Okay, come with me. Let go of your pain. Let go of your heartaches. Or learn the things that you learned in your youth. Let go of everything you used that is negative that you used to know from your youth. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale peace. Inhale calmness. Imagine yourself by the beach. I want you to feel the wind blowing around you. Embrace peace. You know, I've been wondering, how's the therapy session going? <laughs> uh, a, a waste of time, I guess. I actually no. I, funny enough, I feel better since I started this session. A lot of things have meaning. Life makes more meaning right now. And I think that it has helped me to refocus, to understand what is important. I sleep better now. My energy is refreshed. I feel different and calmer. <sighs> I don't understand. Is this what you've been programmed to, to tell your friends or maybe people around you? Can you please stop discouraging him? This man here is trying to make better. He's trying to make something out of his life. And what he needs right now is us more than ever. He doesn't need any therapy session. All he needs is us. We need to advise him. We need to... Be I with want him. my family back. I'm going to be better for them. I'm going to be better for myself. I'm not going to stop the sessions. I'm going to continue. I, are you for real or are you joking? I am for real. Thanks, man. Anytime.
Good. Yes. Good evening, sir. Y yes, sir. I I'm so sorry, sir, for calling this late. I was... No, 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 no. I've, I've, I've taken a screen grab of that. I've sent everything. I would call them tomorrow morning like you instructed, but I wanted you to know that I am done. So, tell me, how did your job hunt go? It's tiring. Nobody wants to hire an ex-convict. Uh, are you giving up? No. No, I, I will keep trying. Good, good. Well, um, a friend of mine is willing to give you a job. I explained your situation to him and... Uh, is willing to give you a job, but he's not sure if you will be ac uh, accepting the salary. Okay, so um, how much is he paying and what kind of job is that? Uh, 200,000 a month and uh, you'll be head of uh, a distribution unit. Distribution? What are we distributing? Yes, uh, he, he is a drink manufacturing company. And uh, he said. I'll take the job. <laughs> I will take it. You, you mean it? Yes, at least this is a decent paying job. I will, I will take it. I will take it. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank I'll, you. I'll, 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 I'll get back to you. Nice to have you back, babe. Thank you, my darling. So like I told you about your husband, hmm? if I hadn't seen him myself, I wouldn't have believed that he has changed, okay? I am seeing a different person entirely, so calm and focused. Listen, Andy is now a new person. He is. So I just returned, and you think Andy's state is important to me? Joan, sure. come on. I know I was the one who asked you to leave him. And I'm also here to ask you to give that marriage one final chance for it to work. The Andy that I see today is definitely someone I can show tea for. Dear friend, I know you still love him. I want a better life for you and your child. Andy is going to give you that life you always wanted of. Am I supposed to just sit here, listen to you, and return back to him? The movie has came for too much. I am sorry, babe. I know that I, I have treated you terribly, and I almost hurt our baby, but please forgive me. So you both brought me here to listen to this man? Gosh, I am disappointed. Hey, listen, hey. listen, listen, listen. Hey. Girlfriend, are you that angry with me? Do I look like someone who wants to hurt you? You're my best friend. Why would you bring Andy to meet me without informing me first? I did that because I know what your response is going to be. You left Andy because of your child. Now, would you not want to go back to him now that he has changed? You have always wanted a whole family. And now that the family becomes on you, don't you want to embrace it? Don't you? Once a woman bitter, is always a woman bitter. Yes, I know. But not when he seeks for help. Angie, your husband has gone through a series of psychological evaluation. And he has changed. Huh? It's and he wants his family back. Don't you want to make an effort? Don't you? 
It took me a whole lot of guts to walk away. I know. And I also know that you have a lot of guts to return. Just try. As I know how you feel. Trust me. Andy wants you back. Please. Come on, come on. Let me drop you. Come. Come on. Come over. Oh, John, John, please, John, please. What do you want? Why are you stalking me? I'm sorry, okay? I know that I have done so many wrongs to you, but please, I want you back. I want you and our baby back, please. Uh, look at me. I'm trying to be a better man, and it's all because of you. I am trying to make sure that I I'm the husband you want me to be. I know that I do not deserve a second chance with you, but please, please, for the sake of what we shared, please. Are you done? Are you done? <laughs> so am I supposed to believe you? Do you have any idea what you put me through? I almost lost this precious gift in my womb, all in the name of marriage. And you stand there and expect me to just Believe and forgive? Babe, the, the thing is that... I, I'm sorry. Please, I want you back. Please. Be, be, be. Listen. If you do not believe what we have been telling you, then you have to go and confirm from the psychologist. Hmm? I know he will be the one to satisfy you that Andy is now a changed person. Yes. Babe, I'm so scared. You don't have to be scared. I know that what you want is also what we all want. But besides, 
You need to give your child a suitable family. Yes. And I know that is what you have always demanded. I promise. Please. Yes. Please. Mental health is what people tend to ignore. But in our society today, you see that many people have that problem. You see, raising one's hand against another and using the wrong choice of word, all of them have their background in mental health. It doesn't just start, it is inherent. And when you trace it, you find out why people behave the way they do. I came here after a long, hard thinking. I am one who was raised to believe in marriage and its sanctity. I love Andy, and that might never change. I need to sh be sure that he has gained his mental health to become a husband and a father, which is why I have come here today, because I believe that only you can tell me the truth. He told me everything. And I know firsthand all that you went through. But I'm telling you that the man that is after you is a changed man. And with your help, he will remain a changed man. If I'm to be your daughter, what would you advise I do? If you are my daughter, I will advise you to give it one last shot. This is from a father to a daughter. You have been restless as I am, my darling. What do you want? Do you want us to go to daddy? Tell me. Just give me a sign and I will do anything you want. Okay? Even if it means taking the last risk. I'll do it for you. Hmm? Give me a sign. <gasps> Mommy loves you. I've heard you. Mommy loves you. Ah, uh, the your your call. It was rather urgent. Is there any? Do not kneel before me. I am not God. Please, 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 please. Get up. Please, just, just let me be here for now. Just get up, get up. Get up. I just want to be sure that I'm doing the right thing. I, I too in my life, I will not disappoint you again. She will continue with the sessions, right? Yes, of course I. I'll continue with my session with Dr. Charles to better myself and my mental health. Okay. We will go with you, but on one condition. If anything goes wrong again, we will be done for life. No, no, nothing. Nothing will ever go wrong again. It will never happen again. Thank you. Baby, please forgive Daddy. I'm, I'm so sorry. And Baby has forgiven you. We have forgiven <laughs> My daughter, I made you a promise. 
Hmm? And I will not fail you. You are on the right track. And this home must be saved. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yes, you do. This baby, I'm talking about this <laughs> baby. <laughs> I'm fine. I just want to sleep some more. No, no, no. You can sleep more. Hmm? <sighs> Look. Yeah. to say thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for not giving up on me. I wonder what my life would have been like if you, if you were not in it. And you, you are my pride. And thank you for becoming a better person. For I and our baby. For you. <laughs> <laughs> and we are so happy to be home. And I'm happy to have you home. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. Okay, here you go. We have antenatal to go and you need your strength refreshed. <laughs> You're right. Easy. It's hot. Exactly how you like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, let me hold this, Your Majesty. You can eat. <laughs> Should I feed you? Because you know. <laughs> hmm? You want it? <laughs> <laughs> 